actually no one actually has seen yet, which is this new full swing Netflix series. Mm. Kieran, you're extremely excited about this. Talk, I, me, talk I us am, through it. I am massively excited. Um, so this whole uh, the whole idea behind this is it's very similar to if you ha- if you have or haven't watched um, Drive Survive uh, F1, which is on uh, on Netflix. It's a very similar thing where uh, Netflix have gone round and they followed a few um, a few players this whole year and they filmed uh, the majors and they filmed the players and the FedEx Cup playoffs. Um, so it's going to be a really good insight into like a PJ Pro's life, and then also some of the massive events that have happened this year. So, so I think <coughs> the the raw excitement is that, as you mentioned, this is from the guys who did Drive to Survive. I know you're a big yeah. Drive to Survive guy. Yeah, I know that a lot of people are Drive to Survive people because that's what's got a lot of people into F1, and that hopefully will do a similar thing for for golf in yeah. this this iteration of of this Netflix special. If, if the conversion, if um, full swing has ten percent of the conversion rate that um, the F one Drive Survive had, then it's going to be absolutely massive for golf. Yeah, absolutely massive. As in fans. As in yeah, fans. Not as in race car drivers. <laughs> no, 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 but like I could, I could do that. Yeah. 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 Get out on a Monday morning. Yeah. 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 People are driving rather yeah. fast today. Yeah. <laughs> this morning rush hour is flying yeah. by. Yeah. <laughs> do you think? Yeah. Do you think that something like that can have like a the example that is kind of like from my generation is something like Happy Gilmore, where you're like, oh, suddenly golf is like a thing that you can do. You see it in a context that's kind of like it's kind of just shoved in your face. It's a blockbuster movie or, you know, it's a Netflix TV series, that mm. kind of thing. Do you think it can have a massive effect on people actually picking up the game? Oh, yeah. 100%. I, I, I do. I do. But the only thing that's, and you know, I'll you know, get on to kind of Pete's opinion in a minute, but um, like... Golf is, is is different to to F one in the sense of like it's you know it's an expensive sport you know to get into you know you need a likelihood you need a membership you need you know the clubs you need everything so the uh, the entry level to get into golf is obviously a bit different to F one. Um, <laughs> I'd say it's a lot harder I to get th- to F one. No, I no, thought F one would be more expensive than no, but for, uh, playing a, golf. Clubs. I mean, from a fan, well, obviously, yeah, yeah, yeah right, yeah, yeah. Obviously, you're not going to be getting in the car, but like. You know, the uh, the whole idea of this series is that it wants to get people involved and get people, um, you know, playing the game, taking it up and stuff like that. So, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how the golf industry kind of, you know, handles all of this influx of, you know, new new people and new ideas, you know. You know, is it going to change? Are they going to do anything separately? Like, yeah, it's going to be it's, interesting. It's definitely an easier transition for them to watch this show, as I hope everyone will, and a lot of new people will. They'll see golf, whether for the first time, second time, or they're avid fans and they've stopped playing or whatever it might be. Compared to Drive to Survive, you get a really good insight into a, a world that you don't actually have a very good idea of. But the transition to actually go and do motorsport is quite complicated yeah yeah yeah. whereas we've got oh, no, you can go go-karting can't yeah, you yeah but i should don't mention yeah go-karting. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do go go go-karting anymore. Anymore. <laughs> um whereas with golf even though you know the topic of how expensive it is is something for probably another day but you can do it and mm. that's hopefully what this show will provide to people if they watch it and think this is something that i want to try and and, and see yeah. or they'll watch it and go i'm not touching that yeah so. definitely yeah, yeah yeah what did you think of the trailer peak yeah good exciting i think from from my point of view, maybe I'm a little bit more sceptical, but I think with Drive Survive, what that really did was get more fans interested in F1. Mm. One of the differences is with Drive to Survive, you got invested with the drivers. You could then watch the races and the first seasons of Drive to Survive, especially the seasons were actually really exciting. Mm, right. They had very close races. You always had the Verstappen, Hamilton kind of controversy at the end and all that kind of stuff. My concern would be you would watch this, then start to watch the events and actually not be as engaged because you know the coverage of professional golf events isn't that exciting generally. Yeah. Mm. So that would probably be my concern. But I think the the best thing that they could have done was obviously start it this year. I was going to say, yeah. like, we're going to go through the year yeah. of the things that happened and then try and visualize in your mind a kind of behind the scenes of these kind of like iconic moments throughout the year. So mm. number one, Tiger says he's coming back and he comes back and plays the Masters. You know, everyone's kind of expecting, 
you know, I don't know what we were expecting, really. I was kind of expecting... Yeah, well, that was it, wasn't I, it? I don't think anyone really knew. Yeah, was I, was the... kind of, I think I, I kind of thought, like, I would love for him to win, mm. of course. Like, I, I then, of course, I just wanted him to make the cut. Yeah. Then, like, seeing how kind of affected... I he want was. him to be able to yeah. stand <laughs> after he's yeah. finished playing. Like, yeah. affected by his injury, I was starting to think, like, oh, I really want him just to kind of, like, get through the tournament and yeah. not, you know, mm. have to, uh, like, DNF or whatever. But, like... Tiger coming back, big, big, big. Do you reckon there's going to be any? Do you reckon he signed a yeah, all right, I'll be on it? Or do you reckon we're going to get? If he has, it's something they've kept. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say they've yeah, they've, locked, got, they've, they've, they've told us who they're covering. Yeah, right? they have their set players that they followed round for like the whole year, um, and we're going to get onto it in a bit. But obviously, like some of those players went to live um, halfway throughout the season, mm. so that's that's obviously going to be a, an interesting one to see. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think they followed three out of the four um, winners of the majors this year. So okay. that's the f kind of thing about the driver survive as well is that like when a team win, they're in the garage seeing like the reactions and stuff like that. So it'd be interesting to see if they've got like the behind the scenes of them actually winning and like, you know, yeah. what happens after that, what happens behind the scenes. So yeah, no, it's going to be, it's going to be also cool. Also like, not obviously the post stuff, the pre stuff as well. What actually goes into yeah. the preparation 100%. for yeah, mm -hmm. winning 100%. these tournaments. Cause I think, you know, the way, Tiger was the catalyst for this and golf becoming a lot more athletic and players having to, you know, work, use the gym a lot more and in this journey yeah, there's, gonna, there's gonna be a lot of great montages in well, there. Like, yeah. <laughs> there's gonna be Brooks benching something. I was gonna say, like, you know, yeah. but, Brooks um, and Chase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just like <laughs> swap over and then they go again. Yeah. So it's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be cool to see. I'm 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 excited to watch it. I'm excited for to see how they present things. Because yeah. I think the live stuff, as you mentioned, is going to be interesting. Mm. What's the kind of spin they go yeah, on it? I wonder if they even, if they mention it and try not to cover it too much. This is it. We, it's going to be interesting know, to yeah. see. Because obviously, they, you know, the, the players had to sign a contract saying that they were going to, um, you know, follow them down for the whole year. So this is the thing, is it like, now they went, it's like, mm. what happens with the other half of the year? It's like, I mean... There's no way that they can avoid it because some of the players they followed literally went. Yeah, right. literally, like, yeah. they, they, they can't just stop the story halfway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Be like, is, oh, yeah. Where did Brooks go? <laughs> yeah, this is <laughs> what I mean. You know what they happened to Polter? Yeah, yeah, at, yeah. At the end of one of those like um, uh, one of those movies where it like come, it fades to black and then it fades up with the writing. It's like Brooks kept to have went on to play. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah <laughs> Like they're not, there's no way they're going to be able to avoid that. There's no way they're going to be able to avoid that. There's no way they're going to be able to avoid the p other players who remained on the PJ Tour talking about that. Yeah. Yeah. You can't imagine that the time they spent with Rory, for example, he's not going to comment on it. He's not oh. going to mention it. Yeah. Um, so that's definitely going to be a big part of it. But you, you just want to be able to show their personalities more. Mm. That's, what, that's what golf struggles with. It struggles with bringing over personalities of players and introducing players that you want to root for. Yeah. That you want to actually get behind. Yeah. You know, that that's what this kind of series could really do to get new fans invested in the players. Because mm. anyone, uh, uh, everyone watching this kind of knows really what golf's about. There's not really going to be many hidden surprises. Like the world of F1, the intricacies of it. It's a lot. You can go like crazy in depth to all the cars and all the structures and all the rest of it. Yeah, golf doesn't have that. It's been around for a long time. People kind of know the basics. You hit it off a tee. You try and get it in the hole. Like there's there's a bit of stuff <laughs> you in between. You try and find it. Yeah. Easy, easy <laughs> game. But it's just like getting the personalities out and just like making them come across a lot more because it's so it's really hard to do in a tournament setting yeah because mm. they've added the kind of the walk down the fairway interviews which have done a little bit of yep. kind yep. of building that character kind of you get to you get to learn about you know people like till hatton i love till hatton because mm. he's like a character and he's he's exciting to watch you never know when he's gonna blow up or something mm. hilarious is gonna happen yeah, yeah but it's because we've seen his personality on the golf course that you can root for him so it makes a massive amount of sense that if we can get an insight into how these players prepare yeah. into their kind of their family life, what they like mm. doing when they're not playing golf, that's going to make supporting yeah. them like much, much yeah. easier. I just, yeah. I just hope it doesn't become like a washed down vanilla version of here's Justin Thomas. Look how he prepares for the event. Yeah. Oh, he works hard. Mm. Doesn't he just do all the right things? Yeah. Kids, you yeah. should be more like I, Justin Thomas. Yeah, I want to see him. I want to see him struggling. I want to see him like, like, um, like having a barbecue with their families the week before the Masters. I think, I like think, I yeah, want to see I that think, stuff. I think you will see that. I really do. 
We really do. But that was what the thing um, with the F1. You had that one guy, didn't you, that kind of was like the narrator and the presenter. Um, that journalist, do you remember? Uh, Will Buxton. Will Buxton. Like he kind of was the he was set in the scene, and then you'd move into into that. So I don't know whether we're going to have that in terms of like have that one guy that's going to volunteering. Oh. <laughs> 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 I know you're releasing it next month, but if you want someone to do some retakes, I will be there. Uh, um, what I'm actually really annoyed about, and I, I literally remember this the other day, is I should have been in it, but I'm not going to be in it. What? You are? So they were filming, but bear in mind, I'm not like, like they were filming at the <laughs> Open. <laughs> Sorry, hang on, what? <laughs> yeah, honestly, honestly, I just, I literally just remembered this. I, so they were filming at the Open, and basically I was, cause I was doing the presenting for the open. I was on the range. I was walking around with the mics and stuff. Yeah. I was in the background of quite, quite a few shots. <laughs> right. So I get, an, I get an email through and they said, Oh, you know, dear Mr. Finch, you know, we've, we've been filming the Netflix documentary, yada, yada, yada. We don't um, need to be in it, please. Could you, could you please sign this release form? A waiver sort of thing. Uh, so we can use yeah. your images. And yeah. I was like, yeah, yeah, fine. So, and literally promptly forgot about it until like a few days ago. No. Oh, and you, did you get an email to say? No, no, I, I, I didn't send it back because I'm not going <gasps> to be in it. Oh. No. Oh, no. So if you did send it, you could have been in it. Yeah, but I would have been like literally in the background. So it, oh, like, it would have been worth it. Like so they, creeping around. They didn't come up onto you on the range and go, excuse me, Mr. Casey, can I have a conversation? Would you please? And uh, no, they went, they oh, sorry, no, no, you're Peter Finch. Oh, no, oh, you're David Seaman. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, no, there was none of that. So, unfortunately, everyone has missed out on me creeping around the back of the range. That's a shame. Oh, oh, that would have been oh, sick. Man. There might have been some close ups of you, though. Oh. Why? <laughs> Why sort of close up of me haggard well, on know. the driver range you say Andrew's sunburn? But just to set the scene, you know what I mean? Like, you know. Oh, I'm so that's yeah. That's, 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 it, was, that's, it was a little bit. Do you know what? It that's really is. It that. really is Blue Monday now. That is yeah. so sad. I mean, potentially they might have just ignored it. Surely, just yeah, yeah. Might, yeah. Email them back and say, "Listen, I'm sorry I didn't email you the release form, but please let me." Yeah, yeah. Let, so, yeah. you're on that range enough. Yeah. All, all I'm saying me. is, mom, dad, if you're watching, the, <laughs> if you're watching Netflix for that five second clip of me standing at the back of a range, you might miss out. <laughs> that's so sad. Devastating, I know, but. Is what it is. Okay, so Tiger comes back. Wonderful. Scheffler wins the... Scheffler wins the Masters. Masters. Yeah. The three putts or four putts on the final green. Yeah. That's that's one thing I'd like to say, is that like, how much of a background behind the scenes did they get of the Masters as well? Like, how cool, you know, Ooh, do you know what I mean? Obviously, I've only... Notoriously well, tricky to... Notoriously to film in, but then we've never... Um, you know, I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm, obviously you've been, but I've only ever seen it from... Like a TV screen and like the t you know the set shots. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Like, are we going to get like a you know right down eye level sort of thing? You know. So. I'd love to see because you know Scheffler said he was really struggling with the idea of winning. Like he went in on day three yeah, yeah. and said that he couldn't sleep and like he like broke down to his wife and was like, I don't like I don't know how to do this. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how to go and win. Don't yeah. know if I'm ready. Yeah, I just don't yeah. know if I'm ready to do it. Like, I, I wonder if they're going to catch. Like any of that stuff would be uh, unreal to see kind of how that's, these that's what you want to see. That's, that's what, what, I, want. That's what, that's what, what I, I mean. And uh, someone like Scotty. What is it you cry? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Suffer. Yeah. But someone, someone like Scotty as well. He's just like, he just it seems so lovable as well. Yeah. He? he just seems so like, you know, soft. He's like a soft man. You, you just see the best in everyone. Yeah, he's yeah. a soft, he's you a do. soft man. Is it Scotty? Yeah. Scott, Scotty seems great. Yeah, Good old Scotty Scotty. Seems great. Scotty, my way for Scotty. Yeah. Um, what's the second major of the year? Uh, US? US? Uh, USPJ. USPJ. Oh, PJ. Who wins the PGA? Yeah, JT. JT. I well, don't remember this. Yeah, so well, I do very well because I had quite a bit of money riding on this. And <laughs> he'd be big on Mito. I was big on Mito, and I don't. <laughs> why? Don't ask me why. I don't know. I I read something somewhere that he was going to translate very well onto this golf course, which obviously he did, and he was doing very well, mm -hmm. and he was leading by one yeah. on the 18th. Yeah. And he hit his tee shot into that creek. Yeah. And then Why he took driver bogeyed. there? Why is it driver there? He mm. so on seventeen he missed a short putt for Birdie, which would have put him too too clear. And I think after he missed that putt, maybe it's a mentality thing of just like, right, I'm gonna keep my foot down still yeah. and just like I'm not gonna because he hit driver, I think, all the rest of the week. So I don't think he wanted to change. Which is yeah. I can understand. Um but yes, I, I just, had a fiver on him to win. I would have won about 
seven hundred pounds, I think, if he won. He just did, he just did a bad shot at the bad time. Yeah, yeah. it's simple as that. He did. Because um, he is one of the guys that they were following as well. Netflix, Mito. Yes, it? yeah, Mito, no and, and also and, and also JT, and also JT. Yeah. So you got two of the main features of this documentary series yeah. going head to head in the final round in the final round and one of them having a disaster and one of them having a round of his life to come through and win it oh mental. i think i do remember this tournament it's the it's um the course where some of the tee shots play over the greens of the previous uh a I little bit yeah, yeah. what's, what's the course like called? it's not straight over the top but it was so it maybe was i'm thinking of the the pga or the US Open, maybe I'm thinking of the US. No, Open. you are thinking of PJ. I am. Yeah, there's a few where the greens like run off the back onto tees and stuff. Yeah, mm. yeah. and like, and they would have to wait. Southern Hills. Some, Southern, Hills. Southern, Southern Hills. Hills. They would have to wait because yeah. someone was finishing up before they could yeah. hit tee shots yeah, yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I do remember it. I do remember it. So yeah, yeah. no, it was that was fun to watch for me. Yeah. Then it wasn't very fun at the end, yeah. but it was it was good to see. JT winning was great. Um, I can't remember that he he came back from. Six down or something like something like going into the final day. I think he mm. had he had quite a way to come. Uh, playoff versus Zalatoris. I think that's right. Oh yeah, and we were talking about Zalatoris's oh, inability stroke inability to putt straight. Makes you want to throw up in your mouth. <laughs> Gets it done though. <gasps> Gets it done. Yeah, it's a bit harsh. But, uh, it's one of the best. There's not special in your point stroke. Suppose you're not throwing up in every grip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's yeah, it's because he's got one of those very fancy putters from next door in his bag. <laughs> yeah, just yeah, it's perfect for me. Yeah. Don't have to worry about it. Just take it back, take it through. Don't have to try. Yeah. Um, and then we had... The US. The US Open. The US. That Matty Fitz wins. Yeah, he did. And they were following him as well. Great. This is what I mean, is that like, I don't know if it's just Netflix or anything, but like they seem to it get... It always seems to They just seem just to work get out. so lucky with like the people, you know, they, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So lucky with the people they're following. And that's like, it's, that's going to be really cool to see. Um, Matt's kind of a guy that, I'm doing it, you know. You I'm just did a him. Yeah, His I name's Matt. Yeah. Matt Matthew. Matthew Fitzpatrick. Yeah. Um, Mr. Matthew <laughs> Fitzpatrick. <laughs> Mr. Matthew Fitzpatrick. <laughs> is a guy yeah. that it, within himself is not very outlandish. He doesn't really sort of present himself too much, but just seems like a really nice guy. Hmm. But hopefully in this documentary, we'll see. We'll see the side that you don't get to see. And yeah. that, you know, that's all, like, as we keep repeating ourselves, but that's what we're looking for. And was, was that bunker shot on 18 the best shot of the year? I, th I would say so. Just purely for the, the magnitude of the situation, where he was at, what he had to do, the shot he had to hit. I think he had to, hit, I'm sure it was a six iron, something like that. And he had to hit a cut. Bunker front had to be perfect. And it was. And it was just, yeah. It was the, the whole story with Fooch as well, him winning. It's just, yeah, it was awesome to see. But Fooch? Fooch? Yeah. Was it not? Who's Fooch? Fooch is, uh, no, it wasn't. Fooch. Fooch. It was no. um, Oh, Billy. Billy, yeah. Billy. Billy Foster, sorry. Yeah. Going to give you a few minutes to get it, but. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting mixed who's, up. Who's Fooch? He Fooch was, is, uh, he was Rose. Donald's caddy. Well, oh, yeah. And he oh, was at um, right, yeah. yeah. uh, Wentworth. Right, I was going to say. But he, was, was like, he was Roses and then. I was like, yeah. where did he finish? Like, right. Was he, I'm talking did caddy. He have, did he have a good round? No. No. See, well, this, this is why you weren't on the production team for Netflix. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can get the names You'd be getting people in from everywhere. It's like, yeah. that's not the right guy. Yeah. yeah and so shout out, Fooch. And now on the team, <laughs> Michael Jordan. Just give it everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> okay, and then, we, and then we go to them following superstar talent Peter Finch at the 150th <laughs> <moment. Yeah. laughs> You really need to stay tuned for this one. <laughs> this was, if you want to see me walk in a slightly awkward fashion, <laughs> it's, the, it's the one to see. Cut that quiet. You didn't say anything before. Yeah, no, it only came to me the other day when I actually saw the trailer and I was like, oh, well, oh I could have been in that. Yeah, I was, I was like, oh, I wonder if I'll be on it. And I was like, oh, no, I won't be, will I? Because <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. Unbelievable. I didn't that. press send. That uh, is unbelievable. Did you do the thing where you sent the whole email and then forgot to add the attachment? No, no, because like, oh. they, they literally <laughs> sent it like during the open week. So obviously I'm, I'm here, there and everywhere. I saw the email. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll have to remember to do that. And obviously didn't. 